Hello, welcome to ExpressTheStar.com. I'm Andy Turton, stepping into Nathan Judah's shoes today. Uh, I'm here with West Brom correspondent uh, Matt Wilson to talk about everything uh, to do with Albion today. And um, really, it's about the leaky defence that's uh, been a bit of a problem for Albion in the last five games. Um, you know, is there something that Pardew needs to look at uh, in terms of the personnel, or you know, is there some sort of other makeup of the defence that's going to sort of bring some results and, and, and stop the goals start coming in so much? I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, you look at it, and it's. I think it's eleven goals in the last four games they've conceded, and you know they've conceded two or more in the last five. It's just not. I mean, you're not mm. going to win games. I mean, I, I, as bad as the finishing may may have been at, at the other end of the pitch, you're asking a lot of your strikers. I think if you're if you're conceding three goals, you ask them to get four goals for you, which this team isn't capable of. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that that sort of um, defensive uh, strength that. Albion used to pride themselves on ha- is starting to go and it is starting to disappear. Um, wh- how do you fix it? Well, Pardew went and watched Ali Gabir um, mm-hmm. on Monday night in the under 23s. Um, he initially said that he wasn't, you know, ready to to step up into the senior team. Um, but by all accounts, Gabir played quite well, uh, albeit in, a, in an under 23s match. You know, it's, it's a big, it's a big leap. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a different stage, isn't it? Massive, di- massively different stage. But Gabir has played alongside Hagazi for the Egypt national team. So Padu said, look, if, if I have to play those two together, I, I'll have no problem doing that because I know they're comfortable with each other. Obviously, Evans is your first choice, but then I suppose stuff. You know, what's happened in recent weeks. Does he deserve to keep his place? Um, he played very well against Southampton, actually, albeit at left back. But Kieran Gibbs is expected to return this week, so I'd be it'd be interesting to see what he does, whether he brings Evans back into uh, centre back or whether he keeps faith with Gareth McCauley because he, he handed him the armband yeah. against Southampton. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I, you know, he's been a stalwart, hasn't he, for the last couple of years? You know, it, it's just that emerging partnership with Hagazi that sort of, you know, uh, meant that he was left on the sidelines a little bit. But yeah. do you still think that he's still a consistent enough performer at Premier League? I think Hagazi and McCauley as a partnership are too slow. That's my that's my only problem. I. I and you know Macaulay's thirty-eight. I mean, let nobody should ever. I don't think anyone should criticise him if if he gets beaten by you know a young winger down the line because what he's done for the for the club has been fantastic in the last five yeah. years. And you've got to remember he came on a free. I mean, he's been a he's been a brilliant oh, servant, yeah, you know, brilliant buy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it might be time just to maybe move along, or or maybe just play him alongside Evans or or even Dawson and just a quicker, younger centre back because um, I think Hagazi and Macaulay together. It's just a bit laborious, a bit slow, and and it puts you at risk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, a few people have been tweeting into us talking about how Dawson had played at the start of the season and whether he was an option to be, uh, you know, centre half going forward. You know, what do you think about that? That's where he's always wanted to play, uh, and I'd like to see him eventually move there. I suppose. Um, just for him, I suppose, more than anything else. And he's always has looked quite impressive there. I mean, he had a bit of a shaky spell there uh, towards the end of last season, but. Whenever he's moved there, normally he's been okay. At the moment, I think he's more needed on the right at right back. I think we've got a lot of centre backs, um, you know, who are okay, who are good enough. Um, and I think I prefer Dawson at right back than Neil, myself personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I I think he's more reliable there. And I think actually he deserves credit for turning himself into a into a quite a good reliable. Uh, right back. Um, I mean, he made a mistake last weekend against uh, Southampton when he went to the ball at a corner. Yeah. But over, more, mostly, he since he's come back from his injury, he has been yeah. one of the most consistent performers on the team. So I like him at right back just for now. But yeah. I, I wouldn't be, you know, adverse to him moving inside if that's the the route they went down to try and. You know, stop this leaky defence because it is they are leaking far too many goals at the moment. Yeah, I, I mean uh, the the whole setup of the team, the fans wanted this sort of more expansive uh, way of playing, and that finally, do you think that sort of you know they've got to go back to a bit of a pulis mentality in terms of you know trying to uh, keep it nice and, uh, and defensive at least, you know. You do you do wonder whether you know Pardew's methods. The longer we go without Pulis, whether the defence is getting worse and worse. Now I would caveat that with the fact that the defence weren't really performing that well when Pulis was here this season. But I, you know, you do wonder that as his influence starts to wane and Pardew's takes over, is the defence does it know its job? You know that goal uh, last weekend was uh-huh. it when they when. Wesley Hoot, I think he passed it in on the six-yard box from a corner. That's just a dreadful goal to concede. So you do have those concerns. Um, you know they need a few clean sheets certainly. Well, uh, yeah, it's a big week for West Brom. Uh, please keep it uh, on ExpressAndStar.com for all the latest news.
Top stuff. Okay. Well done.